what you guys learned from last weekend against Arkansas you can carry over into this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think you, you take a little bit of confidence from that, right? You, you have the kind of the number one team in the country come in and probably the best pitching staff in the country come in. And, you know, we by no means dominated that pitching staff, but I thought we competed really hard against them. I thought we had as good of a plan against Hagen Smith as anybody's had all year. Um, you know, I thought those bullpen arms that were really good. We had some really tough at bats against them. And shoot, you you win that one on uh, Sunday, kind of extend it late, but the one on Saturday, just I thought the ABs got better as the day went on. So I think there's some confidence you take from that. Um, but this is kind of a whole different team when A and M coming in this year, just or this weekend, just different. Um, I mean, there are a lot of power bats. Bray Montgomery special. Um, obviously, a lot of less special, but there's some depth in that lineup too, and and they can really pitch. So it's a little bit of a different challenge, but I think the boys show what what they're capable of when they when they run off good plans and compete together. And you guys are facing another number one team, so how do you guys embrace that challenge? Yeah, I mean, I, I think like I said, you you hopefully draw a little bit from last weekend on the confidence that hey, you can line up and we play good baseball. We can go line up against anybody, but you know, even last night showed you when when you're not as hooked in or you're not as focused in some things. Um, that you can get beat by anybody too. That's what makes this game incredibly frustrating, but also the best game there is. You know, so um, so yeah, I think you know we're gonna go up and put a good plan together, have a good workout today, and get ready for the eggs tomorrow. And, um, what stands out to you guys about Texas a and You know, I think just the depth of the lineup. I mean, everybody knows you know they're Grahovic, they're really superstar freshmen. Um, just guy can really hit. Obviously, Lavalette's made a name for himself in this league. Braden Montgomery made his name for himself in college baseball, but it's more than just those three. There's depth in that lineup, you know, and you look at a veteran um, and a Pell transfer from Penn, a guy in Ted Burton who spent his whole career at Michigan is now with him. There's just depth to the lineup. It's just not get through the top three and you're good. You know, there's some depth there. Um, and then on the mound, you know, they got a guy that can just really pitch on Friday. You know, we're not going to see 98 on Friday from Prager like we did Hagen Smith, but it's just elite pitch ability. He mixes pitches well. There's no real tells in certain counts. Um, just does a really good job. There's power in their bullpen. Ashenbeck's obviously had a good career at A&M. So um, just a lot of weapons. It's a really complete team. You know, and I look at some teams, and Ar Arkansas has such a great pitching staff. Some really good hitters, too. But this one just has a little bit more length, a little more depth to it. So, um, you know, we're going to go out and see what we can do tomorrow and go try to compete with them and go from there. And you guys are at home again this weekend, so what kind of advantage does that give you guys being in the show? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've been pretty good at home. You know, we, we've played pretty good baseball here. I mean, if you look at the rankings right now, we knock off, you know, Arkansas, who's number two. You knock off Tennessee here, who's number four. You had a top 15 team in South Carolina come in that we knocked off. Um, so we've shown we can play good baseball here. Um, and so that's, that's what you got to feel good about. You know, you do if you're going to play the number one team, I can tell you what, I've been to College Station a lot. I'd, I'd much rather have the Ags here than there. And um, what do you guys have to do to earn a series win? Yeah, I think, you know, the focus of our bats, I think, is something we brought up a lot of attention to. You know, we haven't commanded the strike zone as well in conference play, which some of that is is just better stuff, right, than we see out of conference. But, um, you know, we got to get on base at a more consistent level. That's your, your whole offense and winning is predicated on really getting on base. And one thing I thought we did a really good job of this weekend is we really just hunted balls in the damage zone, and if it wasn't there, we took them. You know, whether it was a ball or strike didn't matter. And, you know, last night watching the game, we were in between on a lot of those things and didn't control that as much. So we're going to have to do a good job of forcing their arms to do what we want them to do. Um, we pitched at a really high level last week, and that's going to be another key. I mean, it's a heck of a lot easier, you know, when you're when you're out there competing against these arms when you're matching them on your side. And I thought those guys did a tremendous job last weekend. So, again, it's going to be a full team effort. Can we pitch? Can we play defense? Can we execute offensively?